Hey, how's it going everyone? How are you doing? Now, I wanted to give you guys my review of The Seventh Guest. Now, uh, I feel really cool about the fact that I actually live in the city where the original Seventh Guest was made. In fact, um, I moved here in 1996. It's Medford, Oregon, and I worked at Starbucks, and like the head the head of the company, the company was named Trilobite, and the head of the company was Graham Devine. Got my dog hair on me. It was Graham Devine, and I didn't know who he was and he would come in for coffee. Okay, here's a picture I took of Graham Devine when he came, this is at Starbucks, when I worked at Starbucks and I took a picture of him and yeah, that's, that's in 1996. I worked at the Starbucks that was inside of Barnes and Noble. You can see there's a gate right back there to his right. That was Barnes and Noble. The only Barnes and Noble that's still in Medford, but the Starbucks doesn't exist there anymore. And I would just chat, you know, and he'd be like, yeah, I work at the software company or I own the software company. I don't remember what he told me. But I, I just thought he was a cool dude. Uh, I didn't know enough about him to like revere him. So he, but he invited me over, and I would go there quite often. And they had like the coolest stuff. It was definitely like a dot com company. Um, they would have like a life size version of like the alien from Aliens. Uh, they had a bunch of Star Wars toys. It, it, it was a cool, cool place. Like you would definitely want to work there. And um, I still know at least one person uh, who used to work there, a female. And uh, shout out to Kylie. Hi, Kylie. Um, <laughs> and uh, anyways, they gave me a free copy of the game at the time uh, on, on CD. I probably have it somewhere, maybe. Um, and there was a secret passcode that one of the developers told me about. It was like Graham's right-hand man. I think his name was Don. I think his name was Don. And the password was Don underscore R space Zephod underscore B. So like Zephod Beeblebrox from... Uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So Don D was capital underscore R R was capital, and then space, and then Zaphod Z was capital underscore capital B. <clears throat> so if you have the original discs, it should work. Uh, I think like there's a chime after you type it in at the very beginning of the game. Uh, but I did download the one from Steam, and it didn't work there. Uh, I'm not sure what it does. I can't remember what it does, uh, and it's not documented anywhere. Like if you look that up, you can't find that anywhere online. So. Uh, anyhow, um, I can. I'll actually put a picture up here of what uh, where the building was on McAndrews here in Medford, Oregon. Uh, it was very cool. It's uh, it's just some kind of business build, boring business building now. All right, so this building used to be the Trilobite building. This is where Trilobite was uh, back in '96, and I remember when they went out of business. I was bummed out. I think they went out of business in '97, maybe. Or was it 98? And then Graham Devine went to work for id Software. All right, so uh, you can see it's 1575 McAndrews Lane, McAndrews Place. So this is the building. This is the building. I went in here and I hung out with the guys on the top floor. I don't remember. They might have had like multiple floors, but we hung out on the top floor. And uh, they had an ISDN line. I thought that was like super cool. And I, I was in 96. I was such a noob. He asked me what, like I tried to guess what ISDN stand for, stood for. And I think I came up with like Interstate Digital Network or something. Something that's not what it stands for. I don't remember what it stands for now. Anyways, this is it. I live less than two miles from here. And this is the building. But yeah, it was really cool. And um, so I played Seventh Guest VR. Honestly, I didn't finish the Seventh Guest game. I don't think I did. I did try playing it, but I don't remember much about it. And I know that the Seventh Guest VR is uh, different than the Seventh Guest uh, game, uh, original game that came out. And uh, I liked it. I like how they have puzzles that they, first of all, don't really tell you how to solve the puzzle. So um, you have to figure out like what the point of the puzzle is. And they don't even tell you that. So it's, first of all, it's a puzzle. So it's like, ooh, solve this puzzle. But they don't tell you how to solve the puzzle. So it's like a double puzzle. Like how am I supposed to even, what is the object of this puzzle? So you, you don't, you have to learn what the point of the puzzle is and then you have to figure out how to solve it. Um, it was actually pretty cool. One of the things about the puzzles were that some of them were easy, some of them were hard. But regardless of that, most of them were fun to do. They were actually fun to figure out. Usually I don't like puzzles and it's like frustrating, even though like every game is like, ah, oh, what do we give people? Puzzles. Um, but 
most of their puzzles I actually found fun, whether they were easy or hard. Some of them weren't fun, um, but uh, most of them were actually really, really fun, which I found unusual. I really liked it. It was made in Unreal Engine, not Unreal Engine 5, but Unreal Engine, and it looks really good, and I posted 3D videos of it online. I made four parts, so you can see what it actually looks like in 3D if you use your VR headset and you watch it in YouTube VR or if maybe you have a PlayStation, I think PlayStation VR, you can watch YouTube VR, I think something like that. I know some of my viewers are on PlayStation VR. So, um, but it looks amazing. It's a great game. Um, it reminded me a lot of Coraline because I guess the seventh guest is a child and it has to do with child abduction or something, kind of like Coraline. So if you guys have seen the movie Coraline, uh, it has some Coraline-esque-ness to it that's a word um i just made it up so it's a fun movie or fun <laughs> it's a fun game to play um i think that's about it don't know what really what else to say i would definitely recommend it yeah i would definitely recommend it and um you want to see what it looks like before you buy it check out my 3d videos they are from steam vr not the quest because quest for some reason they don't have cross buy on this so if you often what cross buy is if, if you buy like the quest version you also get the rift s version for free or it's with the purchase or if you buy the rift s version you get the quest version but it was the same exact price there was no cross buy and i wanted to make the 3d videos and the quest version well i guess it looks good obviously it doesn't look as good as the computer version so that's why I did that one. All right. So uh, I'll catch you guys later.